Welcome to the Immunotech app interface training. In this video, I'm going to show you the layout of the app along with how to use some of the unique features of your Immunotech app. To get started, we first have the home screen. On the home screen, you'll see the banner, the area below the banner, which the area in blue, mine currently says event reminder. Yours might say something else. And that's the most recent alert. And we'll get into alerts here in just a few minutes. And then we have the media card, sample card, and this little plus symbol that says cards down at the bottom. Now what a card is, is actually just a small little snippet, a little quick view of a very much larger section of the app. So for example, I have this media card with two videos on it. If I click go, you'll see that I have those two videos plus a lot more pieces of content in here, followed with a couple of other things that we can do. And we'll hop back into that in just a second, but I'm gonna go back to that home screen. So we have the media card. I just wanted to explain kind of what a card was. And then we have our sample card, right? So there's more that you can do in that sample section, but then I have that plus symbol back down here. If I click on that, I can see all the other cards that I can add to this home screen. So I'm gonna just go ahead and on the left side, turning those little uh, buttons into the little blue ones. I'm gonna add all of those and I'm gonna hit save card layout to add all of those to my home screen. So I still have media and sample like I did before, but then I have prospects, alerts, and events. And that is awesome, but maybe I wanna customize mine in a little bit. So if I click that plus symbol again, I can now on the right side, drag those little icons, that little uh, nine dots over there on the right, and I can rearrange what I'm showing on the home screen and in what order. So I wanna see my alerts first, and then maybe I want to see sample second. Uh, you know what, I wanna see prospect second. I'm gonna turn off events and let's move media up. That looks pretty good. I'm hit save card layout. And now you can see my home screen is set up just like that. I have alerts, prospects, media, and sample. That's perfect. That's just what I wanted. All right, so that is how to set up cards. You know what cards are now. So let's go ahead and hop into each different section here within the app. So down here at the bottom uh, for my cards, I set up sample, which I can also get to down at the very, very bottom next to that little home icon, just to the right of it, I have the little box opening and that is our sample icon. So I can click either go in the upper right of this card or I can click that sample icon down here at the bottom of the home screen, right? And so that little bar you can see will stay on each screen so it's a way to jump around quickly from one section to the next, right? So then I have my sample screen, which there is going to be another training video about sampling specifically, but this is where you can purchase credits. That's a link to your back office. We have offer a sample, which I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I can see that I have offer a free sample and offer a paid sample, which is pretty cool. Again, there's that other video they'll be coming. And then we have send a sample, and that's how you can send a sample out to somebody using your credits. All right, so then I'm gonna go to the next section over uh, down at the very bottom. This is gonna be our media section. Here in the media section, we can see all the different pieces of content that Immunotech has added. We have videos, we have PDFs, images, links, there's a lot of great different things that you can post or that you can share to your prospects in here. So at the top right we have where mine says United States English, if I click on that, I can change the different country and the different languages that I have so that I can share to my prospects where maybe they are in a different country than me. I can share to them in that different country and in those different languages as well. And so that's always catered to my prospect. The content is already written for my prospect, the videos or the PDFs already translated but all your buttons here don't worry all those still stay in your language that you're running your phone in so i'm gonna go ahead and click cancel because my prospects are in united states english right now and i'm gonna go ahead and click under this first piece of content that little arrow that blue arrow uh, right underneath the word hugo and don't worry if your content is different than what you're seeing at the time of this recording on my screen when I click that button, I am now taken to the prospect section where I add my prospects that I want to share with, right? So I can either choose from existing prospects. You might not have any at this time, which is okay. I have one in here. So when I click on that, I can see one prospect that I have already shared a piece of content to. I'm going to go ahead and close. I can choose from my phone contacts. So that's that upper right button. If I click new prospect device contacts, that lets me choose from any of the contacts that are in my phone. And then at the bottom, there's this new prospect manual entry. Now, we're aware that you might not have a prospect's phone number or a prospect's email address, but you know their first name and you know their last name. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that information in. Dennis 
Smith, I'm gonna hit close, and I don't have either of those, and I'm gonna hit add prospect and continue. And so now I'm taken to the screen where I can select how I want to send this piece of content to that prospect. And this shows me the different things that I have installed on my phone right now. I have Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram, Google Voice, and you might not see all those options, which is okay. That's no problem. You might not have all those apps installed like I do. And so yours might not show those. Um, but you'll notice that since I don't have their phone number or their email address, when I click on either text or email, I'll get a little notification that says that I need to add that, whether it's a, a phone number for text or an email address for email. But I could still send to Facebook Messenger, which is where I know this prospect from, so that's great for me. I can go ahead and set a reminder, maybe I wanna follow up with them in three days, click continue, and then off I go, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and close, and it's a really great way to just share your prospects, connect with them, and you don't necessarily need a lot of information. So that was share, and back here on the main media screen, I also have the little rounded square with a plus symbol, that is our post button. I can post to Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. I cannot currently post to Instagram, that's for a future project that we'll be working on. And then there's how to find your content within all of these great different pieces that Immunitech has added. So I can either click the search icon at the top left, or underneath the country language where it says collapse, if I click on that, it'll collapse all the different pieces of content so I can see all the titles and jump to things quickly. So for example, under product shareables, I'm gonna click on the last one, the K21. And when I do, it takes me right there. Pretty cool. So uh, that is the media section, and I'm gonna hop over into the next one, which is prospects. Remember prospects, you can only add prospects by the act of sharing media okay so i'm gonna say that again you can only add prospects by the act of sharing media so back on that media screen where we just went through how to share that is the only way that you can add prospects okay so once i have my prospects in here you'll see them on this list we can see the one that i added most recently dennis smith and if i click on the little pie icon i can change his status to something like uh, maybe he's a hot prospect I'm gonna hit update that, and I wanna change Richard. He's kinda of back in the warm one, so. Uh, and you can also set reminders, which is great, that little bell icon. And if I click anywhere else on the line, like for Dennis Smith, I can see all of Dennis's information. Now, you can see that call, text, and email is not clickable, and it's grayed out, but let's actually go back to my, uh, my prospects and go to Richard Hendricks. And then you can see call, text, and email is here for Richard because I have added in that information for this prospect. And I've added notes, best prospect, and then I have all my different history. So as your prospects start watching videos or opening PDFs, clicking on images, things like that, all that information is tracked and given back to you. And when that information is provided back to you, it's in the form of an alert, which is the next section down at the bottom right. If I click on that little bell, I'm now taken to my alert section. I have had a couple of event reminders in here for me, but as my prospects start to watch content, you'll start to see all your different alerts show up here. And it's like an email inbox. It's really easy to go through. And that covers all of our main sections. The last area to really explore in this app is the upper left, the little three lines next to where it says alerts. When I click on that, my side menu opens. And the side menu is accessible on any screen. I'm just showing you on the one that I was on. And in here, I can edit my profile. So if I click on profile, I can see I have my name, uh, a little bit more information of mine, and then I can edit the image. The image is the only thing that you can edit here in your profile. Everything else is editable in your back office. So if you wanted to change your name or anything else, please update that in your back office. I'm gonna click on side menu again, just to kind of go back there quickly. And then there's a couple of other items that we have. Training, you're gonna see that sampling training I mentioned earlier, that's gonna be housed here under that button. Events, you'll see the corporate events. You can add your own events as well and invite your prospects to them. Office, just a quick link to your office. And if you're on iPhone, you'll see Siri shortcuts. Lastly, down at the bottom, we have About, which is about the app and its version number. Contact, if you need to contact us or reach out to us for any kind of app support, we are here for you. Please feel free to click on the email address in there. And we have the settings uh, icon, which if I click on that, this is where I can manage my notifications and I can log out. 
And that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you learned a lot from this training. And if you have any questions, reach out to support. And hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot.